Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. So last week, I believe. Marshawn Lynch was fined $100,000 for not making himself available to the media. So this week, he gave in interviews at his locker post the game after winning 19-3 over the Cardinals. That interview consisted of a lot of yes, no answers. We're, we're waiting to see if that the league, the NFL, is going to agree that that he had fulfilled his contract. This is the NFL, the NFL, not his team, the NFL, as a part of this contract. I've never heard of this before. I know that you, uh, re reporters can pick and choose who, who they want to interview, so the reporters are free to do whatever, but the players have to make themselves available to the reporters. So if a reporter ignores uh, a player all season long, uh, he just has to grin and bear it. You know, you can't find reporters for not wanting to or on purpose ignore ignore somebody, right? Let's say that somebody that they've been harassing, saying that they are a child molester or beat their wife or, or whatever, whatever, you know, whatever the media likes to do. Uh, and the guy can't get an interview to give his side of the story because they want to, you know, they want to play political games. You know, we get to print all the stuff, but we can ignore you, and so you never get to tell your side of the story. Even the wife coming out and wanting to tell her side of the story. No, no, not gonna happen. But this guy is fined $100,000, $100,000. I, I believe that's, is that more than what he makes per game? I don't, I don't know what his contract looks like, but that's a, it's a pretty steep, pretty steep price tag there. Um, I've said it, others have said it, we need to start our own league. We, and as and what I mean by we is, I mean we black people. We've said it about baseball. We've said it about basketball. We had a Negro League. We had a Negro League on all of those. You know what happened? The white leagues uh, accepted us and then bought out the leagues. Not just in baseball and basketball. We had business, quote unquote, Negro business administrations. And they bought those out too and closed them. Closed. Oh, we accept you, and they close them because they don't want black people doing their own thing. I think it's 2014. I think it's high time we do our own thing. We don't need to seek acceptance from uh, a white league that does its best to make sure that the reporters, the media, trashes each and every one of the players when they possibly can. Uh, oh, it, he ran a stop sign, but, but the stop sign actually was broken and you couldn't see it. Yeah, but he ran it anyway. We're not going to report that part. Just print that he just ran the stop sign. At what point do we stop seeking acceptance from? I mean, let's look at the let's look at the facts. Jews don't do it. Muslims don't do it. Italians don't do it. Mormons don't. Do it. The, uh, Asians, the Japanese don't do it. They got their own thing. Filipinos don't do it. They got their own thing. We need to get our own thing. You know, there's, in the, in the last time I said that, people, oh, oh that's racist. Well, uh, is it racist when the Jews do it? That's my question. Is it racist when the Muslims do it? Is it racist when the Jews do it? And if it's so racist, how come you don't, you don't, you don't even, you don't even flutter your lips? Either it's racist or it's not racist. How come you're not speaking out against the Jews? Not only do they have leagues, they have stuff put in place, laws that say that you can't even talk about it. How do you like them apples? Is it racist? Be careful now. You might get, you might get a, a tap on, on, the, on your door from the FBI if you say that it's racist. Answer below. Thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show.